Okay, so let's take a look what I've got inside my pack. I'm hiking around in the tundra every day, anywhere from 5 to 15 kilometers. It's rough, rugged terrain, often very swampy. Uh, it can be cold with the wind chill. We've had it down to about mi minus 5 this week. So I've got to take a whole range of things. Now, first of all, of course, what I'm wearing, I've got camo pants. I normally have rubber boots on. Uh, I've got my down jacket and a couple of layers underneath that, and then either a toque or a hat. So let's take a look now inside the pack. <clears throat> now if I flip it over, first and foremost, I'll show you the camera gear. <clears throat> so I've got my big 500 lens with my Canon 1DX Mark II, so that's sort of the pro level camera. I'll stick that out there. I've got a backup body with a 100 to 400 zoom on it so that I can do more broad landscape type stuff uh, with animals in them, so sort of animals in their environment. Or if we get in close, I uh, can use the zoom function of that, the 300, 400 range, uh, to show, for instance, the big bull or some of the cows and calves and so on. Throw that over there. I've got two converters. Uh, 1.4 times and a doubler uh, in case I need to zoom right in on anything. And I've got my wide angle lens uh, 16 to 35 uh, so that I can do landscape stuff. So that's it for the camera gear. Now if I go to the side of the pack, for safety purposes, I've got an inReach Explorer, so this allows me to, by satellite, immediately do an SOS call. Uh, so for instance, if someone was having a heart attack uh, or any kind of emergency situation uh, that can't just be dealt with in camp, uh, I can immediately hit SOS and contact the outside world and let them know that I've got something going on that we need a helicopter or a plane coming in for right away. I've also got a walkie-talkie so that I can communicate with camp uh, and with the camp manager so I can let them know, you know, someone sprained an ankle or can you pick us up at 6.30, that kind of thing. Water bottle, of course. A lightweight rain cover. I also have more heavy-duty rain covers, so if I know I'm going to be in very heavy rain, those are what I use. And then a pack rain cover. So these are all on the outside of my pack and this just allows me to stop the uh, stop and this just allows me to stop the actual pack from getting wet if we're having a shower or a heavy rain. And then of course a backup a garbage bag. I always take a garbage bag with me no matter where I go with my camera gear. If it were caught in a deluge or anything like that, I can always throw this over top of my gear and make sure that it's going to stay dry. Now in terms of peripheral things, I'll start with the outside of the pack. I've got a big compartment in the back here. I've got camouflage rain jacket. Notice how that blends in with the tundra immediately. I've got binoculars. Uh, so a set of high power 10 times binoculars so that I can scan the tundra and look for things. I've got a bug net, extremely important out here. You gotta have a bug net to stick over your head. And I've got camouflage waterproof uh, rain pants. So these would probably not really hold up in the Great Bear Rainforest, but out here in the tundra, they're perfect. They provide a bit of windproofness and quite a bit of waterproofness, which is necessary if you get a shower or get an actual rainstorm coming. So that's it for that pocket. Now if we go to the top of the pack, and notice I've picked a pack here that is very, very comfortable and easy to, to wear. It's got good thick hip belt on it. It's got a good thick hip belt. It's got a good thick hip belt on it so that I can strap it around my waist and put a considerable amount of weight on there and not have to worry about it becoming burdensome as the day goes on. Again, I'm out there all day long hiking around. I have to have a comfortable pack, and this is an F-Stop pack, a uh, company that sponsors me. So in this top compartment, I've got a couple of card holders. I've got a lens pen that allows me to clean off lenses. I've got a pair of camo gloves. 
I've got some snack bars, a lens cleaning cloth, extra batteries, and probably the most important when you're out here, or certainly one of the most important, I've got sunscreen, both lip balm and a face screen that I can just rub on quickly. And then if I go to the final pocket that I've got available in this pack, I've got my GoPro on a little stick here. So very handy to be able to whip out and immediately GoPro myself or anything going on. Sunglasses. A toque. Now normally I'd be wearing a hat right now. So I've either got a toque and a hat or a hat and a toque. A couple of waterproof heavy duty gloves. So if it gets really cold and stormy, I can put these on and these keep me warm uh, both in cold weather and in rainy wet weather. A face mask, so again, kind of adds an extra little bit of insulation for keeping me warm, but is also camouflage, can be useful if I'm stalking anything. Polarizing filter for some landscape stuff. Cleaning cloth, so that I can dry things off or clean off lenses, that sort of thing. Small travel first aid kit, it's just got some basics, bandages, uh, pain relief, that kind of thing. Another cleaning cloth. I always take two of those everywhere that I go. And then a couple of little minor things like an Allen key to be able to uh, adjust my tripod if I need to, uh, adjust plates on my lenses, things like that. And one more lens cleaning cloth. And that's it. Pack is now empty and that is a sampling of all the different gear that I take with me. Now of course I'm forgetting two important things and that is the camera, the video camcorder that I'm recording this with right now, and the tripod assortment, and the... But of course I'm forgetting two important things, and one is the camcorder that I'm filming this all with right now, and the tripod assembly. Always have that tripod strapped onto one of the sides, and I've got the camcorder sitting right in here, easy to get to at all times, or it's even sitting in my pocket as I'm walking along. So that's a little summary of what I carry with me in my camera bag.